million of Muslims, hundred of thousand of Muslims, but no Islam. Now, now, the current time, the current hour, need for the role models, moderate people, very moderate. We are following Islam. Brother, come with me, I can show you my house. You see my house, how we are practicing Islam inside the house. How my sons are, how I am talking with my sons. What a relationship with me, to my sons. How my daughters are dealing with me. I am a role model to my son, my kids, subhanAllah. My dear respect brothers and elders, please, please forgive me even though we are not role model to our kids. Even though we are not role model to our kids. That wise we are saying, a son talking with the father up to what time? Up to what time? When a son is starting himself to earn, from that day he neglecting his father. I don't have any business with you. If father want to know about his son when he's arriving, when he's getting married, he cannot ask from his son. He have to ask from his wife. Mother, when son coming, did he phone any information? When he's going back, from whom he will ask? Mom. When son is starting himself to learn, earn, the first number going to cut off, whose number? Father. It's a practical life. I'm not talking anything out of that. Relationship is only for money. Only for money. Our life is not a role model to our kids. How many kids are saying, I want to like, I want to become a like my father? <laughs> How many kids are saying, I want to be as a role my my father is a role model to me? In a small classes, two years, other grade 2, grade 3, the teacher will ask from the students, what is your, your ambition? What is your? Ambition. Some will say, I won't like a Michael Jackson. Some will say, I won't like a Hollywood, this, this. Some will say, I like a Tendulkar. Or some will say, I say, the Ashuriya. Or Saidan, but some will say, how many students have will say, I would like to be a, my, my ambition is a, ambition is, I want to be like my father. Very trustworthy person. He never ever speak lie. He is a very honest man. He's a broad minded person. I never seen a person like my father. We have to, we have to ourselves make our life as a role model first to our kids, our family. If someone went to your, your, your wife, she said to your wife, your husband did this thing wrong. Your wife had to say, never ever, you, you are a mistake. My husband never ever going to do these things. I know him about him. And living with him more than 20 years time. I know his trustworthiness. I know his honest. I know his attitude. Who want to say? Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came from, 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 from this cave, Ghar Hira, after first revelation, Ikra Bismu Rabbi Kalladi Khalaq, he found uncomfort. Who? He came to home. Who was at home? Khadija Abdullah. He was Zamiluni, Zamiluni. I'm very sick, I'm very sick. Please put a blanket on me. Zamiluni, Zamiluni. 
Then Hazrat Khadija radiyallahu anhu straight away he went, he took a blanket and put him on him. He left sleep. He asked, what happened to you? Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi mentioned everything. I seen the, a person came, he, he told me, Quran, etc. so many things. I am very, I have a fever now, I am very, these things. First things, Hazrat Khadija radiyallahu anhu was talking with the Prophet Sallallahu Wallahi inna Allah la yuhzi ka'abada. Wallahi, I am saying, Allah never ever going to waste you. Why? You have a good quality. Innaka la tasilu rahm. See, never say you are praying. Yes, it's for saying, you are tied up with your family. You have a good relationship with your family. You are respectful to your family. Wa tu'inu ala nawa'ib al-haq. Wa tukri'u al-waif. She started to talk about husband's quality. When our wives are going to talk about our quality brothers? After our day? When? When? As Khadija radiyallahu ta'ala was speaking about Prophet Sallallahu quality before his prophethood, a day one, she gained the certificate. My husband is a very good person. Allah, inna Allah, la yuzik. Allah never ever going to destroy you. You have a future. You have, your life going to be a sign for the India human. Because you have this kind of quality. That's why, my dear respectful brothers and sisters, we need a role models. We need a role models. Make our life. Our life had to be a Quran. Quran had to be a life. What is in the Quran? That is in our life. What is in the life? That was in the Quran. We have to say, you, if you want to read a Quran, come and read, come and see my life. That's the Quran. If you want to see a Quran in my family, come and see. That's in my family. May Allah give us a tawfiq. Purpose understand. Please try in your level best and ask guidance from Almighty and help from Almighty to understand the Quran and bring the Quran in our life, in India, like India Ummah want to come and the shadow of the Quran as a Quran, we have to make the Quran as a guidebook to in our own life, for the all aspect. May Allah give us a topic. Wa akhir da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Understand, no? Jazakallah <laughs> khair. Jazakallah khair. Mashallah, very beautiful. Very understand, huh? Very beautiful. It's a wonderful advice. It's all of us to take back. So it's not very often that we have chefs of this caliber coming to us, come to our locality. Inshallah, we all need to take something back to them. So we can't leave, leave anything behind. Take everything back with us. So put these things into our lives. The advice, some very, very beautiful advice we've got today. We need to bring this advice into our lives. That's the most important thing. So we can all listen and we can go out, but we forget. But we can't do that. We have to take this advice with us. Inshallah, we, that's what we need to do. We need to take this advice back with us and inshallah, bring this thing into our lives. So again, we all thank the chef. So mashallah, he, from a very busy schedule, he's a very busy person, but still he took time out. You know, to accept our invitation, they came to us and they gave us some very, very beautiful advices. So we thank the Sheikh and inshallah we pray that the Sheikh will come, come and visit us more often and can advise us, advise us more. And we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He grants the Sheikh good strength and good, good health to carry on doing this beautiful and wonderful work of Deen. And uh, again, from Asala Foundation and from all the uh, general public and the uh, Japanese community, we thank the Sheikh for coming. And inshallah, we hope that your stay was good. And inshallah, anything else that we can do from you, inshallah, we all happy to do for you. And hopefully that we have we have fulfilled our rights upon you. And inshallah, any uh, anything, any lack of uh, fulfilling our rights, inshallah, you can forgive us. And inshallah, we also ask, inshallah, pray for us, pray for this masjid, inshallah. You know, nowadays, we're lacking space for this masjid, especially in Jumma days. You know, uh, we have a lot of crowds, so inshallah, we're trying to expand. So inshallah pray for us that inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it easy for us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.
Yeah, okay, inshallah, we'll have a quick question and answer session. So, if anybody and has answer, any question, only one, one question and uh, uh, connect it to Quran and uh, the Islam. No, no private questions. Then we can save the time. Okay. So, inshallah, we'll have a question and answer session, and after that, inshallah, we'll do the Isha Salah. And today, inshallah, after Isha, dinner will be served. So, any brothers who have questions, please ask the Shaykh. Any questions? Uh, 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 a very nice lecture, very intriguing for us also. Uh, in your verse, you mentioned uh, about Nuh alayhi salam that his wife was a Muslim. Can we say that this uh, rule still apply or for Shariat and Muhammadi the rule is different now? 100% rule is different, Jazakumullah khair, to your question. Uh, that rule is different. For example, you cannot marry any non Muslim. Any non Muslim, rather, the uh, Ahl Kitab. You cannot marry a non-Muslim. That is a sinful thing. If a person married, what going to happen? If a person living with a non-Islamic uh, Ahle Kitab as a lady, if we are saying he's a sinful thing, sinful thing. Still, he is a wife. The child going to birth. The child when you are going to birth to the child, that's the child's mother. She is a mother. You are the Father. So we can say, Hadrat Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, one of, uh, of uh, uh, daughter in law, Hadrat Umama radiallahu ta'ala. He was Abu Al-As, Abu Al-As son, uh, daughter. Or Hadrat Zainab radiallahu ta'ala, uh, daughter. But uh, that's, that's a sinful thing. Which one? You cannot marry a non Muslim. But if anyone marry, for example, we have a sometime we are facing the problem. Husband embracing is now. But he's demanding, I cannot come out with my family. I have to be live with the with my family. On this junction, what we have to do? We have to say you come come with Islam. You understand Islam very well. Then sometime after two or three, four years, he can say, Okay, I will stay. Uh, I will uh, I will be maintained. I, I am not going to engage in any family act, any family type. But he is she is my wife because of my kids. I had to be with as a as a as a father to her, uh, as a father to the kids and a wife, a husband to her. On this occasion, that's a sinful thing. But all kind of law when they apply as a husband and wife. Understood, no? The question was now because the question uh, is if a person uh, already married and uh, without knowing uh, he was not uh, Islamic, but he was not uh, practicing religion properly, then he married a uh, non Muslim and uh, the later on he wants to bring his wife, he became religious, he wants to bring his wife uh, to Islam. In that case, uh, if uh, wife is not uh, practicing, she, she doesn't want to become Muslim. So what he, for that only you give the reply? No, no, no. Yeah. Anything, but, anyone. Yeah. Yeah. For example, dealing with the riba is haram. Mm. By engaging with the riba, he is not going to be a non-Muslim. Mm. It's a sinful person. Mm. Like that, if anybody married to as a non-Muslim sister, mm. he is a sinful person. It's a first, he's yeah. a, by mistake, even you know. By mistake, or by intention, he is a mistake. He's a sinful person. Mm. But relationship going to that relationship, both, both, both have mm. that's going to be a nikah. Mm. If any childbirth given to the, on that period, mm. he's a mother, mm. she's father. a mother, he's a father. Mm. That's going to apply. Mm. That why we are saying, this is, uh, I have to mention this uh, very, sorry for the language that I'm going to use, uh, I, I, can, I cannot explain this properly. Your, your wife can be a non-Muslim, but your wife cannot be a Zaniya. Zaniya meaning understood? No. Uh, yeah. 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 
don't hurry. I will drop you to your house. Don't hurry. Because these are newcomers. For 10 days I am, I am engaging in the Atikaf. Where she will go? She is alone. No kids. Okay, if, if, if she has 2-3 two, two, kids, that also can be something to time, time pass. No kids, no family, no anyone, no husband. 10 days where she will go? A small house? My dear respect brothers, elders, we have to think if we are going to marry a woman, we have to give a time test. Time management. Can you tell me who is the busiest person in the world? Who is the busiest person in the world? Professor Sama. Because his responsibility was up to the end of the world. Our responsibility to end of our, our life. We are not responsible after our death. What going happen? Our responsibilities are limited. But professor's responsibility going where? Up to the end. But Professor Asana, with that busy schedule, he is giving a comfortable time to his house. Allah Almighty is saying in the Quran to the Holy Prophets, about the Prophet, to the Sahaba, if he enter into the house, please do not lock, knock the door. Oh Prophet, come out and tell us about Islam. You have to wait outside the door. This is a time to give unto whom? To family. You have to wait outside the door. Don't ring the bell. Do not knock that door. Why? It's a time given to whom? Given to family. This is the Quran. Everybody responsible give time to where? Now, nowadays we are giving time, mashallah, so many hours time for our job. We are giving time, mashallah, to internet game. Some people are giving, mashallah, so many time for the typhoon. People are giving time for the, in, check the mails, everything. How many hours time we are giving to our wife? How many? If we can ask from the sister, they will reply for that. Some will say zero, zero, zero. No time. I want to share so many things about the family life. Family life. You can lose anything, no problem. But you cannot lose your family. You can lose anything. Everything, but you cannot lose your family. Your family tie is a very important. The entire world, especially the European people, they lost what? Family. Once I was in London, about four or five years ago, I got a chance to go to the use of Islam schools, Islamic school. It's the parent day. The use of Islam, is a, we all know about him. He asked a question from the audience. Very nice question. He was saying, brothers, you can found in London, in, in the British, in a European environment, in every community there are just two, two things. One is elders' home, one is daycare centers. Elders' home and daycare centers. He asked, he raised the question, what is the first implemented? Daycare centers or elders' home? Elders' home or daycare center? He was saying no by document. He was saying the first thing the British people have did daycare centers. Husband and wife want to go to job. They have no time. They told. We will drop you 
in a, a, day, a daycare centers. We will pay you, inshallah, evening, we will take you. The one day become a one week. Because husband and wife are working from London here, they had to travel more than 150 kilometers. Every day they cannot come out, come, come. They will say Monday morning we will drop you. When? Friday evening we will pick you. Two days with us. Then that become a no now they are working in the in the in the in the, in the United Arab Emirates. In the United Arab in in uh, in in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Middle East. Now we cannot travel every week. Now we will come once or three months. You stay where? Day care centers. That's the day care centers become a monthly care centers. Now here care centers. We are paying for you. We are paying for you. Now the he's saying this on this way they are bring their kids. Then kids become an elder person. They, they start to work. The parents are become a elders. Now they need to drop them as they drop kids to some place. They started what? <laughs> Elders home. Every parent had to understand if you drop your kids in a daycare centers, they are waiting to drop you in <laughs> Elders home. <laughs> you are going to visit them the monthly, they will come visit you in a Father's Day only. <laughs> They will come to say you Mother's Day, say Salaam on Mother's Day only. We are saying always Islam teaching us, take your kids hand to the mosque a day will come, they will take you to the mosque inshallah. Take your kids hand. Take them, enjoy with them, they will enjoy with you. If your kids are bothering to you now, you are going to be bothering to your pair, your kids a day. Definitely this is going to happen. Kama tadinu tudano. Kama tadinu tudano. This is only happening in the West. They don't have a family. I have a SMS, SMS that came on Father's Day. On Father's Day, somebody was sent a SMS in the in the, in the, in the, in the, in the WhatsApp message was sent. The very confused day in USA is a Father's Day. Because majority of the proud is that don't know who is my father. <laughs> to whom am I going to wish? In the India population, almost 30% of the Americans are only born for the mothers. They don't have a father. Don't do the mistake. Give your time to your valuable family. Your time is not a valuable, your family is a valuable. Your time become value when you are giving to that your time to your family. Your time is not a value. Your time that's going to be a waste. If you give your time to your family, you are engaged. We are always saying, I am a CEO, I have a breakfast meeting, I have a lunch meeting, I have a dinner meeting, I have a coffee, subhanallah, there are so many meetings. How many meetings at home? Why we cannot meet a daily one meal at home with all kids? Father can address, we have some issues, I want to discuss about these issues. <coughs> mother has some issues, mother can say issue. Daughter has some issues, daughter can speak. Make that at a parliament. Everybody has a right to talk. We are saying, no, I am going to speak, everybody has to. I am always saying, our fathers are like a Muazzin. Understood? Our fathers are like a? What's the, what's the, what's the meaning? Muazzin saying, I am, I am deaf. I cannot understand what you all are saying. You all have to listen what I am saying. <laughs> <laughs> All had to listen what I'm saying. Yes, that's all. Don't come any, bring any, any, anything. Your idea is not acceptable. What I'm saying, you have to listen. No, brother, that's not a father. Father is ready to listen. How many mouth we have? How many ear? If you listen, if you talk 50 cent, 50 words, you have to listen how much? 100. Then only that will equal. 
If you speak how much? 50. 50. You have to listen how much? 100. 100. Now we are speaking 50. We are not ready to even though listen one. May Allah guide us. Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. Subhanakallah. Alhamdulillah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Very quickly, what about Ahmed Kitab?